CNIB presents Know Your Rights. A man sits in front of a light gray background. I'm Roger Abielo, and I'm from a Petit Roger in New Brunswick. I like um, to go hiking, biking, walking, anything outdoors. Roger's story. As someone who is legally blind, I often run into barriers accessing government services. I had a frustrating experience accessing services when my driver's license was revoked. Roger's husband enters the living room with envelopes. There's a letter here for you. Roger is seated in the room. Who is it from? It's from the government. It, it looks important. Can you pass it to me, please? Yeah, of course. Uh, I have uh, received uh, my letter in May uh, 2020. Uh, saying that I had to bring back uh, my driver's license. The prints are way too small. I can't read this. Can you help me out, please? Yeah, of course. And having like someone like reading a debt letter like to me, uh, it was a big thing. It, it says you have to return your license by the end of the week. I knew that I was going to lose uh, my driver's license um, uh, one day. I just didn't know that it was gonna happen like so fast. It was a big change in like, you know, in, in the space of like 24 hours. Roger walks through automatic doors into a government building. When I got um, to the building, I've noticed that the building like was not really accessible. He looks around bewildered and proceeds to walk down a narrow hallway. I told like the clerk um, that I was legally blind and I sadly didn't got like offered like any help. So uh, yeah, like the experience was really um, difficult. So what are my rights? New Brunswick's Human Rights Code protects people from being discriminated against by service providers, such as government organizations. Government organizations have a legal duty to reasonably accommodate people with disabilities up to the point of undue hardship. Accommodations come in many different forms. Examples of accommodations include translating documents into accessible formats or adjusting policies to reduce barriers. There is no one-size-fits-all approach. Let's take a look at what reasonable accommodation could have been. A clerk sits at a desk. Government. Hi, I received a letter uh, that is not uh, accessible um, to me. Uh, I'm legally blind and the print um, is too small. Uh, could you please um, send me an email? Yes, I can provide that. I have your email address on file. I'll send it to you. I would have had um, preferred a big format um, letter or even an email. So I could have had I zoomed it in. So I've read um, the letter and the letter said that I only have until the end of the week to get um, a license um, to you. Uh, that's not um, enough time for me um, to get there. I live far away and I no longer drive. Can I please have an extension? Yes, I believe we can adjust our policy to accommodate you. Will you require any assistance once you get to the building? Yes, um, that would be um, very helpful um, to have someone um, guide me through um, the building. I think that it's my right to be like treated like as anybody else. And if we do like need help, and if we do like ask for help, I think that it's our right like to get it too. To learn more, visit cnib.ca slash know your rights. This video was created with generous funding from the New Brunswick Law Foundation and the Law Foundation of Ontario. While financially supported by the New Brunswick Law Foundation and the Law Foundation of Ontario, CNIB is solely responsible for all content.